So you get a new machine and you're putting it in an old table. You may need to install or reinstall the bobbin winder. The bobbin winder, this is, this is engaged uh, to wind a bobbin and this is disengaged. So I put it in the disengaged position and I, I place it to where it's just missing as close as I can get it without touching. Uh, you want to line the wheel up with the belt so not too far out or too far in. Also you don't want to get a funny angle so you want it to be straight, close, and in line. Once you get it set up right where you want it, mark the holes in the center of the slot. And what that does is gives you adjustment room. So if you change your machine or your motor, you'll be able to, to adjust this fore or aft and uh, not have to uh, do any more drilling. Get an appropriate size drill. Of course you want to make a hole big enough for the screw to get in, uh, but also the threads will still bite into the table. You want to make sure that uh, you don't drill all the way through. I mean if you did it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but set the depth of your drill. At this point, I'll just uh, dial it in exactly where I want and then tighten her down. What? So that thing was seized up. So I'll show you what I did. Uh, I've already kind of done it, but for video purposes uh, this is a set screw when you loosen that you can pull this wheel off and then once that wheels off this shaft will come out of there so uh, this was just all gunked up with uh, WD-40 or uh, motor oil I, I don't know what somebody used uh, so I cleaned off the gummy material with denatured alcohol and then uh, I cleaned it out inside of here as well. Now I've, I've re reassembled it, which is uh, you know pretty easy as well. So we just put that back together and tighten this set screw. Also, I've applied a drop of sewing machine oil right here. Let's try this again. So when you put the bobbin winder into the wind position, it brings this finger up. This is the finger that the thread pushes on to stop the winding process. As we load the bobbin, we can see that the thread travels from left to right. If while you're loading your bobbin, if you notice that the thread is loading more heavily on the left or the right side, that can be adjusted on this device down here. So right here is a, a screw. You can loosen that up and then this can be adjusted either to the left or to the right. Right here you can see that the pawl or this finger is slightly inside the diameter of the bobbin and as the thread grows in diameter it will make contact with this and eventually it'll stop the winding which is good because you can then be uh, sewing a project and this will just automatically kick off without you needing to attend to it
Thanks a lot for watching and please consider subscribing to my channel.